All right, go to the office. Lloyd, it's Eric Murphy. I need to talk to Ari. Eric, he told me if I disturbed him, he'd chop me up Benihana style. Lloyd, this is the most important phone call you've ever had, I promise you. Do you know how many times I've told him I'm Chinese? The man does not listen. Lloyd, listen, I don't care if he's in the middle of open heart surgery. Get him on the phone. Okay, fine, E, but it's just because you are the only nice person in this whole fucking town. Thanks, Lloyd. I would have to say it's his anger. I mean, he goes from zero to 100 in a second flat. Come on. Do you feel this is an accurate no, assessment? No, I, 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 I'm a very calm guy. I mean, whether <laughs> it's that's... I'm a very calm person. All right, whether I'm at work or in a social situation, I am extremely calm. But my wife, who I love very dearly, uh, she likes to nag, and I and I and I react to the nagging. Overreact. Sometimes, okay, maybe, but without the nagging, no reaction. Well, what he calls nagging, I call trying to have a relationship. <laughs> Look. There's no proverbial judge sitting on a bench judging you. Ari, I told you to turn that I off. I did turn it off, but this is the emergency line. This is the bat line, baby. Do you need to get that? I do need to take this, no, yes. No, he doesn't. I asked for one hour out of a day for his undivided attention. And I can't even have that. You can have it if you want to live in Agora fucking hills and go to group therapy, but if you want a Beverly Hills mansion and you want a country club membership and you want nine weeks a year at a Tuscan villa, then I'm going to need to take a call when it comes in at noon on a motherfucking Wednesday. See, that's it. There it I, is. You know what? I have to take this. There better be a Scud missile heading towards Beverly Hills, Eric. No, there's a fucking iceberg, Ari. What? James Cameron's directing Aquaman. <laughs> Fuck you. Where'd you hear that, friendster? No, I heard it from Josh Weinstein, you jerk off. Now get your hand off your dick and go call somebody. I don't care if he's in the Arctic shelf. Get James Cameron on the phone, get Dana Gordon on the phone. Tell her assistant, if she does not call me back, I will fuck her worse than I did in Cabo in 92. Do you really want me to say that? Improvise, Lloyd. I'm gonna be there in 90 seconds, find out who covers Warners. If all this is not taken care of, I will choke you out with a strap on. See you when you get here. Potty mouth. Uh, James Cameron is not in. Uh, Dana Gordon is not in. Mm -hmm. Peter Cole covers one. Who? Peter Cole. Where's Mr. Cole's fucking office? That way, that way. Call Gordon and Cameron every five minutes until someone picks up. Cole, where's Mr. fucking Peter Cole's office? Cole, where the fuck is Peter Cole's office? Yeah. Right here? James Cameron is directing Aquaman? That's great. That, that's awesome. That's awesome, huh? You didn't think to bring it up in the fucking staff meeting? An email? No, a well, yellow fucking sticky just, something? I didn't know I was supposed to know that kind of stuff. Well, what is it you're supposed to know, do you think, huh? I don't, what the fuck do we pay you for? I don't, to get your agency card laminated so you can go to shelter and try to fuck Misha Barton? I didn't, you know, I didn't think I, I didn't... Let me tell you something. You, you don't have to say anything. You know why? Because you pick up all your stuff... Because you're motherfucking fired. What happened? I don't know. I was, I was dropping off Peter's mail, and then Mr. Gold fired me. My life is over. I got Dana Gordon on the phone. Is it true? All right. Listen, I couldn't say anything. Okay, we were negotiating. Did you tell Jimbo Vincent Chase is attached to this project? Ari, it's all gonna be fine. Don't fuck me, Dana. Who got you that job? Who pulled you out of accounting? Okay, Ari, listen to me, all right? I'm gonna tell you this, but if you tell anyone that I told you, I will deny it until my death. All right. <sighs> Alan and Jim are in Paris right now. And as soon as they are done, they will take care of Vince. Uh -huh. And Ari, listen. Alan loves Vince, okay? His 14-year-old daughter has Vince posters all over her walls. We're all good. <laughs> Dana, I love you. And if I wasn't married, I'd take you back to Cabo with me. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Cabo, Ari. It was a Red Roof Inn in Rosarito. Well, it sure felt like Cabo to me, Dana. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Lloyd, get in here. I want to make out with you. Coming. <laughs>